Hello, Amazon Sales Ninjas. Today, I'm just going to show you um, in the screen on your um, Amazon Seller Central how to enter um, an order for shipping. Now, I had started this video and I screwed something up. I mean, it, it's it's a little learning curve. But anyway, so I have, I've already ordered added an item but I'll go over that in a minute but first I'm going to show you how I um, price all my items and I've already priced everything but I'm going to walk you through one and just kind of show you and I have two windows open I have regular Amazon open and I have the revenue calculator open okay so I found my um, item on the revenue calculator and this is just something you can use and then I went over here to um, Amazon let me just show you and this is the item I'm enter, I am entered. Backyard, this was the first item I entered on my order. Backyard Safari Binoculars. And uh, let me just show you a couple things. If you roll down, you can see the rankings on it. It's uh, number 21,017 in Toys and Games. Number 33 in Toys, Games, Learning, Education, Habitats. Okay? It's got a good ranking on it. Now I want, this is how I want to find out what my price is. I'm going to go over here and look. And this item is just crazy. $49.95, $74.93. Okay. Now, I have some ethics about me. This is just a little plastic pair of binoculars. They are very durable. But I, I don't know. I just cannot see selling them for $49.95. So ordinarily, I would try to price myself somewhere in here on the, like Troy says in the videos, but I'm just not going to do that. I'm going to probably go with $26.97 or $24 something because it's, as I, I'm going to show you over here, let's just say I do $24.97. And you just put Amazon under, for Amazon, I'm over here pointing with my finger like you can see that, under the Amazon Fulfillment and then hit Calculate. I have $18.61 to work with. I only paid seven for this item. So from $18.61, I'm minus seven. That's $11 profit per item at the price of $24.97. And I'm just thinking out loud, and if this may, I'm, I might be leading you wrong, but I really don't think so. Um, if I sell one for $24.97, it's possible I'm gonna go in there and raise them to $28.29. But I, I just can't do the 40 something dollars. I don't know. But anyway, if you take the $18, you minus my seven, I got $11 profit. Boom. All right. Now let's go over here. And even if you pop out of this screen when you're in the middle, you can always come back. And let me just, um, what you want to do is you want to add a product. You want to, because you go to your inventory tab and you add a product. So I already have this order going. I've already gotten two items on it, so let me put uh, something else on here. Let me find, let's see what I got. All right. Let me find my barcode. Let me find one that's not so little that um, I don't have to make you wait. It won't take me longer to find one that's not so little, huh? <laughs> All right. Here we go. Where's my barcode? All right. Let me just show you. Uh, let's put it in over here. Zero two two five one seven five two seven two zero eight. Search. Sell yours. Now, if this was the all right, let me just stick. Let me one step at a time. All right, my price on this is seventeen ninety nine. And that's all I'm going to enter. I'm going to put that it's new. I'm going to enter $17.99. I'm going to come down here and make sure it says I want Amazon to ship. You have two options here. I want to ship this item myself. I don't want to do that. Um, I want Amazon to ship and provide the customer service. So I'm going to hit save and finish. And it's going to give me a couple of options. And this is where most people, the first time they're shipping, mess up. If this is the first item you're adding 
to your ship, you know, the very first item to the shipment that you're about to send out, you're going to want to create a new shipping plan. This is the third item I'm adding. So I don't want to create a new shipping plan. Last time I did that, I had eight boxes, and I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to add this to an existing shipping plan. And I got a drop down box, and it gives me the date today's date. And I'm going to add to shipping plan and continue. And, and as you go through it, if you, um, you know, and it wants to know how many I have, I only have one. This is kind of a test. And then it's going to keep taking me through screens and tell me what my prep is and all that. I'm not worried about that right now. I'm just going to keep adding my items. And, and that is, is pretty much it. I can walk you through the whole thing. I just and take you through to the end, but I'm not quite ready to ship this stuff. I'm not going to ship it out till tomorrow. And maybe I'll do part two tomorrow when I get it all in there and, uh, and show you. But I've got three items and I've probably got, I don't know, three or four more to go. But anyway, that is it for today. And I hope this helps the new people out there that are um, preparing your first order. Remember that add to existing plan or create a new plan. That is where I, I think most people mess up. So if you've watched this video, you can save yourself the headache. And I will talk to you later.